Well, I'm putting a dust reduction system into my caravan. And um, a dust reduction system, basically, if you're traveling on dirt roads, it pressurizes the air inside the caravan so that the dust doesn't come in. Now, it doesn't have to be a high pressure, it's just a, a gentle, it's called positive pressure. So it's just more air wanting to get out than air wanting to get in. So that basically keeps the dust out. There are a couple of commercial products on the market. There's the Carafan, uh, which um, goes on the front roof of the caravan and has power and it's fan driven um, and it's pretty expensive. Uh, also, you have to either replace a ceiling um, skylight or put another, cut another hole for it in your uh, caravan roof. And unfortunately, my caravan's still under warranty, so I don't want to do that. That would void the roof warranty, and there's been a few issues with the JK roofs, so I don't want to touch my roof. Um, the other um, one that uh, JK used to put into their caravans their off-road caravans is the Dometic um, dust reduction system and it's a air force. Um, as you're traveling the air goes into a scoop and it goes through a filter and pressurizes inside your caravan. Uh, a couple of years ago um, I installed a DRS, uh, a Dometic DRS into my Crosstrack and that worked quite well um, and we did a, a quite a bit of dirt roads uh, around Australia, uh, through um, South Australia, and, um, <clears throat> and it worked quite well. I was happy with it. it, took a fair bit to do, but I did it by replacing the, the um, skylight vent uh, in the, in the cross track. Uh, I've got a video of that, uh, which um, you can watch if you want. So I've decided uh, this time, well, sorry, when I put it out there, that uh, I was going to look at a DRS for my um, all-terrain. An old friend of mine, Peter Bickle, um, contacted me and showed me how he built one. And he built one for under, I think he said it was under $300. Uh, and that included a scoop on his roof. Now, he, now Peter has an older caravan, uh, which you could quite easily do that, um, put it on the roof. Um, I had been thinking about it for a while, how I'm going to do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put it into uh, behind the fridge on the um, all terrain, uh, which is a space which is not used. Um, it's it's there for gas fridges. Uh, it's for ventilation and the and the um, exhaust gases and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, Let's show you what I'm doing. I've just come back from Rotec Marine and um, purchased a few uh, products. Uh, one is this um, inline blower. Um, it's made for boats to get some air in down in the bilge and a uh, three inch, um, what do you call that? Hose. And a uh, face plate for the uh, vent when the vent comes out, blower vent it's called. All those uh, items cost $95. So it's a blow event, which um, to where the air will come back in to the caravan. Let's see if this um, hose fits. I hope it does. It feels a bit small. It's pretty long. Well. And it's plastic. That's interesting. It's a plastic. Yeah. yeah, that looks like it'll go over that. It goes right all the way up. You can probably get away without putting a clamp on it. Maybe even a cable tie to hold that. And then our blower. Sea flow inline blower. So it can mount um, vertically or horizontally. So this is the DC 12 volt version. 
and a uh, socket draws, uh, where is it here? It draws two and a half amps, and they recommend a five amp fuse on the power circuit. Air blows that away. This is a bit bigger. Ooh, no. fit. Awesome. So that's our blower. Suck the air in and um, duct it into the caravan. Terrific. I'm happy with that. Now I'll show you where I'm thinking of putting it. So here we are at the um, lower fridge vent of the all tray and um, this is basically useless um, in my caravan because I have a compressor fridge and it does not need the airflow. So I've blocked off, previously I've blocked off this space here. Um, there was holes in here for the gas. So I've just put a sheet of, um, of um, balsa wood and just put it in here and just glue it into place. So this is the drain for the fridge and this is the, uh, the power, that's the 240 the fridge going into the power point under the seat. And this is the uh, 12 volt power supply for the fridge. And there's a few other wires here that aren't in use, although I found out that one's hot all the time, as in live. And this is the 12 volt supply, and it says on here compressor fridge. So, so this is my blower. So, what I want to do is I want to mount it in here somewhere um, and I want to put the the outlet inside the caravan in here uh, just above the toilet um, what I might do is mount that on a bit of an angle have an angle down there mount that put the hose with the, which way is the flow yeah, that's the airflow. So that air will go out there and then into the caravan and suck out of here. So I'm, um, I'm still playing with uh, whether I'm going to put a grill, uh, a, a filter on this screen. I might do that one anyway. I might put that in there anyway. Uh, or the one up higher. Uh, or this higher one, I'm thinking. Um, will be more likely to be out of the dust so I'll put a probably put two um, filters on there and block the rest of it off um, yeah we'll see you as as we go we'll see so here we are inside the uh, caravan uh, in the toilet area and um, that's the fridge in there and there's the that's the cavity behind the fridge I just showed you and this is where I'm thinking of mounting this vent outlet just got a hole in there mount it there and that's where the airflow would come in to pressurize the caravan wow. and this is the uh, the vent that I'll put inside and it'll go approximately just up here out of the way at the moment because the um, the top of the toilet area is here basically almost in line with this um, the checker plate on the outside I've just made up a um, wiring harness that I'm going to run underneath the uh, seat in the caravan up to the cavity behind the fridge and this will power the um, blower, air blower I'm going to connect this, the positive and the negative, to um, the 12 volt input on the um, on the management system, battery management system. So that gets 12 volts from the car, not from the caravan. 
So that means uh, whenever I plug the car, the caravan into the car, uh, I will get power to here and the fan will turn on. There means it's, there's no um, there's no forgetting to turn the fan on, and uh, it'll turn on automatically every time you hook it up to the car. So there we go. We're ready to um, run that through the little holes and bring it up into that cavity to power the fan. And now comes the time to uh, drill a hole. So I'm going to go down as low as I think I can to miss the, um, the joining struts. So that screw goes into the wall so I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. This is a pretty thick wall. Um, oh, there's a cavity there. How about that? I thought it was going to be a thick wall and there is a hose just in there. bit of thin three-ply. So all the way through into the cavity, excellent, got good clearance, terrific. So I've poked the ducting through from the other side, it's a very tight fit, that's all we need here. And then we slip that on. So here we have the ducting coming out. Just move it over to this side. It's um, way more ducting than we need. And I'll just reach up and wiggle it out a little bit. Yeah, so it's not so squashed in that cavity. There we go. So I'm thinking of um, bending it around so that it hooks on that motor to blow that away. So we've pushed a bit, pulled a bit more out through there. And let's see if we can get this getting it. Yes, that's it. Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Then we'll just pop a few screws in there. Just because probably should. That's very tight, that's not gonna move. And that's the inside done. Look at that. Well, I better clean up that, I suppose. Well, now that I've got the ducting uh, fixed inside, that's cool. Comes across there nicely. I could bend it that way. It's, it sort of uh, squashes in between this drain hose. Um, in there, I'll put it that way. It means it's sucking any of this away, which is more in the center of the uh, the grill. So yeah, I think I will. And I'll cut this off. So I've just got a uh, box cutter, and we cut. Is that right? Yeah, this away. That'll need a clamp on it, and that'll sit in there. <coughs> I'll do it like that. That's cool. So I need a uh, a clamp and to mount that in place. And that's the blower. Next is the filters, which go onto here. Um, I'll show you the top. Um, so that's the uh, compressor unit. So that's the uh, compressor unit in the uh, top cavity, top of the cavity. That's really the only 
bit that needs for the fridge to run. So I'm going to put one grill up there just for the fridge to protect it from the dust and I'm going to put two down here. Um, now I realise that being so low on the caravan they'll probably get a bit dirtier a bit more often than a roof mounted um, DRS. Well that's the price I pay for doing a cheap job I suppose. Um, and I'm going to make it so that the filters are easy to change and they're only twenty dollars. Whereas from memory the um, the Dometic um, DRS filter was like $60 for a bit of cardboard and, fun and filter. Um, yeah, so $20, you get $60. And you can get them at Bunnings. Any Bunnings has them, they're just a Ryobi filter. I'll show you that in a minute. So instead of uh, spending a few bucks on um, some stainless steel clamps, I'm just going to um, cable tie it on. Now, if the cable ties are nice and tight, there's a bit of a lip there, so they won't come off. And just to be double, to be sure, to be sure, I'll put two on. Chop off the excess underneath. Okay. And I put a tab on it in case anybody wants to pull the fridge out of the caravan one day. I know where to undo it from. So that's my power wire that I ran in underneath and along into the battery compartment and this is the power to that so I might mount this well I've had a rethink of um, how I'm going to mount this pump um, because under this um, balsa wood is, is nothing <laughs> this balsa wood was put here to cover a big gap um, which was a vent for the gas so I've decided that I needed to actually screw it onto something a bit more solider and then screw that into where I know where there is timber underneath and in the process I thought oh, I might as well just knock the edges of this off so I've done that knock the edges of that off so it actually fits inside so now I'm going to screw this onto the timber and then I'll just screw the timber into there and that'll be it Nice and solid, yes, a win. I'll put the terminal block in and the screws. Basically, um, if this motor ever wears out, seizes or whatever, I can replace it quite easily because everything's accessible. And I'll turn it on. So I'm going to give it a go and um, give it some juice, and uh, she should suck air. That's cool. She's sucking air and blowing it inside. That is excellent. It's a goer. Phase one done. Phase two will be putting the uh, air filters on here so that it's sucking. Uh, filtered air. Well, here's the other end of the cable um, which I prepared earlier and the cable just runs in underneath the fridge and out into the cavity. So we'll just tuck this in here and make it a little bit neater. Now what we want to do is hook this up to where the um, battery 
the cable comes in from the car. So I need to shed a little light on the subject and take this cover off that's on the projector unit. Water tanks, get them out of the way, and the house sensor. So I can get that out. So that's the cover that sits over the wire connectors. And it's called, it's labelled vehicle battery. So we shove the little one in first, and then the um, the thick white wire for the negative and then screw it up nice and tight and make sure and give them a tug to see that they're seated properly now the red wire goes in with the orange in the vehicle battery space and that's the uh, phase one complete now I can put the seats back together now won't the missus be happy Put the cover back on. Well that's the end of uh, phase one of installing a cheap DRS. So we can suck air and we can pressurise the caravan. But the next phase, phase two, is to filter the air. So I'm actually going to put these. These are uh, Ryobi lawnmower. Uh, air filters. They're uh, only $20 each from Bunnings and then I've got a nice uh, rubber mount or silicon mount around the outside so if I, I build a um, I might do it like this. So I've made these um, plates up out of uh, checker plate that I had um, so I've used this this is probably the third use of this particular piece of checker plate um, so as you can see it's got lots of holes in it that uh, I've used it for other things and it was sitting around um, in the storeroom. So I've cut it up, cut some holes for the uh, air filters to fit in and I'm going to figure out a way to mount that to the cover plate for the caravan. So we'll see what we come up with. Eh? Well, this is what I'm planning to do. I've um, placed the uh, aluminium straight onto the, uh, the grill and I've taped it either end, either side, sorry. And I'm going to put the uh, filters over here. I've got a long piece of aluminium. Another piece across there, and pieces in the on the ends, edges. Right, so I'm going to uh, self-tap a screw through these to pressurise the filter onto the aluminium back blocking plate, and then I'm going to fill in um, the gaps. On here, splash a bit of uh, Sikaflex around to uh, seal up any joints, and then I'm going to um, right around the edge. I'm going to put some of that um, dust seal that you put on doors, um, just to make a nice seal against the caravan. And then I'll have to support it because these um, latches, which most people say they, they break anyway, um, I'm going to. Uh, support it by, by a, probably a screw on each, each uh, side into the caravan and then uh, that'll be done and then again I'll have to do the same thing for this is the top plate um, I'm only having one filter in the top plate because uh, it won't work as hard so I'll show you when I'm done well here's our grill and there's our filters attached so all I've done is um, put some strips of aluminium along and screwed them into this piece of aluminium. So um, I'll just try that in the caravan now and see that it fits and then I'll seal all this up then.
Might do this one with Sigaflex. So here we go as a trial fitment. Oh, look at that. Excellent. So we just have to make sure that when we seal it up that we don't interfere with these uh, little lugs here because they have to engage on that. And, uh, and obviously the little lugs here at this other end which engage in these two lugs here. So I think I can seal that all up now and finish it. Yes! Well, here we are. It's all finished. Two filters pressured on with um, aluminium strip and screws taped up with um, Racing tape and I've siliconed in with Sikaflex the gaps that I couldn't put um, tape on and hopefully that'll stay. I've also put um, some dust uh, wind extrusion foam, the soft stuff that uh, compresses real easy and it just clips in and on and done. Now I'm going to put um, probably a screw here and a screw there and a screw there and a screw there to help support the weight because it's a lot heavier. It's a lot heavier than the um, standard screen and these clips here break quite easily. So that'll help hold it on. All right, now to finish the top one. So here's our finished um, top panel with uh, one, one grill. And we'll just put it in there and uh, screw it into place. So I've got a screw in there, there, there and there, just to uh, help hold the weight. And the drain holes are still open there, I thought I'd better keep those open. Well I've finished the installation of my um, dust reduction system and um, letting you know that the uh, total cost of putting it in, what it cost me, was $216. Um, if, you were, if I was starting from scratch and not using bits that I had around, it would cost um, $330. That's compared to the Dometic DRS, uh, DRS2, which is not available yet till the end of May. That's a redesign of their um, dust reduction system uh, because there was some cracks developing in their older model. Um, it's got a recommended retail price of $825 and um, you can pre-order from one of the suppliers for $650, probably plus postage. The Carafan, Carafan CP700 is $1,869. And then you've got to install it and run power to it. So um, I reckon we got a pretty good deal for $216. And two days work. But mind you, when I installed the um, the Dometic DRS into the cross track, that was two days work as well. Uh -huh. It nearly took me a day to get the old vent off um, because it was, on you know, yeah, silicon yeah. on the, I was, and I was working up on top of the, of the caravan. And so this is far better solution for us, um, cost wise and time wise and safety wise. And I think I've ended up with- it works. <laughs> of course it's gonna work. <laughs> I built it, of course it's gonna work. So yeah, that's uh, we'll just wait and see. That's the end of uh, this um, little episode of Dust Reduction System. Um, we'll find for, out when we go away. Yeah. In June. In June. Well we're not going any dirt roads though. Yeah, but it's supposed to work even though yeah, well, you're yeah. not on dirt roads. Oh, this is Tracy by the way, just butting in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Button in. <laughs> oh, hopefully it will work.
and, and, and she just whinged all the time that I <laughs> dirtied up the dining table. You know, I had all the stuff while I was working on the dining table. That's because every time you work on the caravan, it all comes inside the house and everything's all over the table. Why don't you just turn it around and show them? It's, it's cl I've cleaned it up. <laughs> it's cleaned up. Come on. Where else am I going to work? Outside. I can't work outside. You need a table to sit down and work. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. It will be really later. good. It'll be good. It'll be great. Awesome. See ya. Bye. <laughs>